I make music for myself and I love it. Yeah. I got into rapping and writing because there was no rules and I could use whatever words I wanted. Am I supposed to make it rain on you, baby? No, because now I'll be naked on your mind lately. I did go through a lot of things that were very detrimental to my mental health. Everyone really has it, but it's just on different spectrums, and some have, have it more than others, and some just have trouble coping with life. That's just how it is, eh? It's not like, yeah. A majority of the time when I'm feeling sad, depressed, angry, frustrated, I would write raps and spoken word and poetry and... Look here, in the middle of this cup with the rim, sip and drink, maybe... I've got books and books just, like, filled with all the stuff. I was diagnosed manic depression, I was diagnosed borderline personality disorder, I was diagnosed all these things, and when I first got told them, I did get to a point where it did take over me. If I put all my books into a timeline, you could see them get gradually, like, real angry and depressive. But it's OK. It's OK. It's OK. It's OK. It's OK. After doing some therapy, I started to realise that once you know the definition of what you have been diagnosed with, it makes a lot more sense. But it's not. So my coping mechanisms could be anything from avoidance, so I'd go hang out with my friends and avoid what's going on with me, or I would self-indulge, so I would smoke a lot, or I'd feel like not seeing anyone for ages. I spent about five months doing not much. It was actually one of the first times where I was forced to by myself and I was living on my own without anyone around me. It was kind of the first time where I was forced to go deep into my mind and it was very dark and I kind of was forced to be in that darkness for a while. I don't really want to talk to anyone or see anyone. I was just the bottom of a pit really. If I didn't go through that, I wouldn't have realised I need help. And I can't go through life thinking with this, surely it's not normal. I started to want to make a change with myself. You can feed yourself flies for years and years, but you'll get to a point where that balloon's gonna pop, and I think that that's what happened with me. I wake up every day going, how can I be better today, and what can I do to not think like the old Reem? And not that there was anything wrong with her, she was just, um... Mm, she just didn't know any better. I want people to know that I am strong, and not just strong like she can do anything, but strong-minded and doesn't give up and super witty and charismatic and... or queen. funding from New Zealand on air.